Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the MZ Wallace Jane shoulder bag that you see right here. I'm going to give you guys some basic information about the bag, show you how I pack it, provide you with some mod shots, and then give you my thoughts on the bag. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here is the lovely MZ Wallace Jane shoulder bag. According to their website, it measures 12.4 inches in length, 10.6 inches in height, 5.3 inches in width. It has a strap drop length of 9.4 inches and weighs 1.65 pounds. It is currently retailing for $365 and is available in five colors on their website. In quintessential MZ Wallace style, there are a number of both interior and exterior pockets to keep you organized. And all the exterior pockets feature this lovely pleating that you can see right here that gives the bag a nice feminine touch. I'll give you a tour of the exterior. As you can see right here, you've got the two big zip pockets right there. On the back side, you've got this one long zip pocket right here. On the bottom, you've got four feet that you can see right there. And the exterior features their classic MZ Wallace red piping that you're used to seeing on pretty much all their bags. Though these days they've kind of been branching out with some colors where the piping matches the color of the bag itself. But you know, kind of when they got everything going as far as these nylon bags were concerned, they always featured red piping regardless of the color. So this is one of those bags that has that piping. You've got the diamond patch right here on the side that shows their brand name, MZ Wallace, New York. And if I zoom in for you right here, you could see that you've got these grommets that say MZW right here, as well as on the strap there. Hopefully, I think it's focusing on me and the background more than the button, but hopefully you get an idea for it right there. And there are all these long, lovely zipper pulls for the, the zippers, and these zippers are smoother than smooth. They do not catch at all. I think these are one of the best zippers on the market on bags. They are really, really great and run really nice and smooth. Now what I'm going to do is unpack the bag on the inside, take out the stuffing I have to show you the interior. The interior is laid out in classic MZ Wallace fashion. You've got the one zip pocket back here that has two more pockets on the inside. Let's see. One, two. And you've got the one pocket here that can be used for your commuter card or your business cards. Flip it around. You've got the cell phone pocket right here and another pocket right there. You've got this key ring holder that connects to the market pouch that comes with the bag. And this is obviously a nice generous pouch as well that can be used for whatever you may need, perhaps a catch-all, perhaps makeup, you know, whatever you'd like. So that is the quick tour of the bag. Now what I'm going to do is show you how I pack this. All right, here's the lovely MZ Wallace Jane bag completely empty. I will start loading it from the outside and we'll work our way in. I will start with this first pocket right here where I typically place my headphones. In this other pocket over here, I will put my sunglasses. Now I do have some cases that do not fit into this exterior pocket and obviously in those cases I will put them in the main compartment but if and when the sunglass case does fit here I usually prefer to place it there for easy access in this large long pocket on the back here i will place this mz wallace pouch it's got some personal items that i don't always need but sometimes i do so this is a nice pocket to kind of place it out of sight out of mind if and when i need it it's right there for me and that is pretty much it as far as the exterior goes at the moment and now when it comes to the interior we will start with the little pocket here that typically serves as the cell phone pocket for some people but for me 
It serves as a mint holder, some hair ties, and then one, you know, quick lip gloss in case of emergency. It's really handy versus having to dig into my actual makeup bag. On the other side here in this zip compartment, I will typically place my MZ Wallace PD pouch that you see right here, which has some keys for work, flash drive, important items that I need to have handy. So I'll place it right there. Now we will actually start loading into the main compartment. We'll start off with the lovely Kate Spade Lacey wallet. I have done a video reviewing this amazing wallet and I will link that down below in case you are interested. Put that right in there. My MZ Wallace Betty pouch that has loyalty cards, coupons, and little odds and ends like that, which I like to keep handy. We've got my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the Damier Ben with burgundy sequins. This has become my emergency makeup pouch. If you recall from previous videos, I typically usually put everything in just that Ziploc bag you see right there, but now I've kind of put them in that Ziploc and now in this pouch. I will eventually hopefully transition out of the Ziploc, but I just like to use it for items that could possibly spill and create a mess. I think it'll just kind of always remain there, but lipsticks, lip liners, things like that, obviously go in here freely. So I'll put that in here. I've got this pouch that kind of has some other personal little items that I want handy, like a travel brush, oil blotting wipes, things like that. So those will all be in here and in the bag as well. Then I've got this MZ Wallace pouch that was a limited edition from Mother's Day, I believe. I keep forgetting, it's 2015 or 2016, one of those two. But this is my tooth pouch, as I like to call it. It's got my toothbrush, toothpaste, gloss, everything I need while I am doing my Invisalign treatment. Goes in there. And then in the summertime, I always like to carry with me one of my Lululemon Vinyasa scarves because I will inevitably get cold, whether it be on the train commuting to work or if I happen to be inside of a building that's got the air on full blast after being in there for a few minutes, I get cold. So I always like to have one of these with me so that I can kind of throw it around my shoulders and stay warm. And that will fit in here, no problem. And that for the most part is what I will put in there. But for the sake of showing the amazing capacity of the bag, I wanted to share with you my MZ Wallace makeup bag that, you know, when I carry this typically has everything I would need. Should I need to, you know, apply makeup after work if I'm heading out somewhere or if I want to have it with me and do a touch up at some point. It's nice size of a bag, makeup bag, I should say. And just wanna show you that it does fit in there right at the very top and the bag will close without any issue and everything is in there. Give you a quick 360 of the bag. Fully loaded. And now what I will do is provide you with some mod shots of the bag on me. All right, so here is Jane on me and for reference, I am five foot six. I will keep it very short and sweet. I think it sits very comfortably alongside the body. The generous strap drop length allows you to put it onto your shoulder very easily without any issues. And it is just a very comfortable, nice bag to carry. Hopefully this mod shot gives you an idea of how it could look on you. And now what I'm going to do is sit down and give you my thoughts on the bag. I think the MZ Wallace Jane shoulder bag is a fabulous bag. I think every working woman should have this bag in her closet. The organization that this bag can afford you both on the interior and exterior is just spectacular. As you saw when I packed it up, it holds a ton, but it really isn't very big. My history with this bag has actually been an interesting one. I've owned it over the course of the years in three different colors. And at one point I actually didn't have it in my closet at all. And as the summer months started to come in to season this year, I realized that I really missed its presence in my closet. It is one of my go-to bags in the summertime and I needed to have it back in my closet. So I only recently reacquired this. I do think that the price, you know, that is the one thing that kind of 
I'm torn about. On the one hand, I think for it being a nylon bag, it is a bit pricey, but given the functionality of the bag and the organization that it provides, like I said, both on the interior and exterior, and given that it's probably a work bag for most people, the cost per wear ends up making it a worthwhile and affordable, relatively speaking, investment. I do think that it is something that you should certainly consider. And obviously, like I said, since it is a bit expensive, do not forget the resale market. Like with high-end luxury items, you will find MZ Wallace on the resale market. So if you're not in a position to spend $365 right now, definitely do your research on whatever resale platform you are comfortable with. You might find it there for a really great price and can snap it up and see if you like it and not have put yourself out $365. But with that being said, definitely check out their website. I will actually link their website down below in the description box so that you can see this exact bag, see the colors that are available, see if any of them speak to you. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.